Hey guys, it's Peter Day here. I'm coming at you from uh, Florida. Don't mind the wind. There's been these really big um, gusts of wind here and um, you'll notice it in the video if it picks up. But I wanted to get you this video because um, I'm putting out a lot of training and a lot of content and this video is about how to go full time in your affiliate marketing business and I want to share a little bit about um, my opinion on that. So. Let's dive into it. My answer of when to go full time is when your business is diverse enough um, to be able to support some volatility. So what I mean by that is that I've met so many um, affiliates who have quit their jobs because they've been really excited about a, um, a campaign or two. And the issue with that is if those campaigns happen to uh, stop profiting or stop working, it could be a really stressful situation. I mean, imagine quitting your job, you have one or two successful affiliate campaigns going, and let's just pretend that both of those campaigns um, stopped profiting, you could be so stressed out because you just quit the job, um, the campaign stopped profiting in that example, and it could just be a very stressful situation. And I actually know a lot of different people who have kind of foolishly um, made this mistake of quitting their jobs when their business wasn't diverse enough. So if you're working a job right now and you're trying to quit that job and go, <laughs> there's another one of those gusts of wind, uh, go do affiliate marketing. You've just got to make sure that you have the diversity. So instead of just having two campaigns, imagine if you've had, um, if you have 10 campaigns or five campaigns, or imagine if you're running successful traffic on Facebook and native ads or Facebook and search. You've just got to have some diversity and you have to build a business where you can still stay in business if, if some things don't work out. So when Tyler and I were trying to go full time in our business back in the day, I was telling people that I'm not going to go full time or I didn't want to go full time until I basically had a business where even if 70% of everything fell apart, I would still be in business. So I focused on making this business where if 70% of everything crumbled apart, I'd still be able to pay the bills and we would still be in business. So you guys need to be asking yourselves, are you ready to go full time? And if, if you can't have at least 70% of everything fall apart and still be fine, you're not ready to go full time. You gotta keep working that job until you are um, diverse enough um, to go full time. So what does that mean? You have to have multiple campaigns, maybe multiple traffic sources, even if you're heavy on Facebook. Like Tyler and I have been so heavy on Facebook. We've been like 90% Facebook. But we have over um, 20 winning campaigns going right now. And by the end of the year, we hope that that number is over 50 uh, winning campaigns. We also have some ad agency clients that we're handling um, on Facebook. At least we, we did. What we started doing with our ad agency clients is we've shifted um, some ad agency clients to more of a performance model where even though they've been ad agency clients, we've just shifted them to a normal affiliate client where they would give you an affiliate payout and stuff like that. Uh, we hated the ad agency model because we didn't like uh, how the clients were so like annoying is the best is the best way to put it. The clients were so annoying in um, the ad agency. So what we decided to do was we cherry picked some really hot ad agency clients and we're still working um, their deals but on a performance basis. So on a per lead basis or a per sale basis, basically just a, an affiliate relationship because it's so much more fun just scaling stuff um, as an affiliate than it has been with the ad agency thing. The, the clients have just been so annoying. We only want you to spend this much. You can't spend this much. Oh my goodness, it didn't profit on Friday, but it profited on Thursday. Oh my goodness. There's been so many worries and stuff with the ad agency stuff. So I recommend you guys stick with affiliate marketing. Don't get too much into the ad agency um, side. If you do, try to make it performance. We're uh, working on a, uh, a new solar deal that looks like it's going to mature, um, that looks really hot. It's gonna be basically a very private deal, a very exclusive deal, but it's on a performance um, 
basis. I think we're going to be able to literally get anywhere from like 50 to 70 bucks just for a first form solar lead. So it should be very hot. And this is the type of deal that we could have done as an agency deal, right? We could have just bought on their ad account, charged them 10 or 20% of ad spend, but um, we just hated doing that. We just hated dealing with the clients and stuff. So um, I've gone after some clients that could be agency clients, but we've closed them, like I said, on more of a performance basis. Um, I'm really excited about it too. I mean, the solar thing should be hot and um, there's even upside in that opportunity to get a, uh, a chunk of the back end sale as well. So a solar sale is sometimes worth uh, thousands and thousands of dollars. So um, they said that they could price us on a per lead uh, basis and they would also be willing to price us on a um, uh, even a sale basis. I mean, imagine getting like a $10,000 um, solar sale and getting like half of that or something as an affiliate. Um, so there's so much opportunity in lead generation and there's so much opportunity. Just make sure that before you pull the trigger though and quit your job that you you have a diverse enough business model, right? So instead of just one campaign, make sure you have at least like at least five to five to eight uh, successful campaigns. Even if they're all Facebook, that's fine. At least make sure you have like five to ten strong Facebook offers and campaigns. Just don't be quitting your job. Um, just because you have one hot campaign. I've just seen people do that and it's been so stressful. So um, just to summarize, it's it's time to consider quitting that job very seriously once you're diverse enough to do so. And um, I touched upon the ad agency model and how I recommend those type of clients, but get them more on a performance basis. I think it's gonna be more fun for you and potentially even more upside, right? Like. If we took the client on uh, for solar as an ad agency client, they might say, oh, we only want you spending uh, 500 bucks a day, 200 bucks a day. But if we take them on as performance, um, we could probably go spend like five, 10 grand a day or whatever um, if it's working out for us and it's working out for them, maybe even more. So this is my advice on uh, when to go full time. I'm gonna record some more videos here when it is a little uh, less windy, but hopefully you got value out of this. And guys, I will be back uh, probably tomorrow, if not Monday for a new video. So guys, let's talk soon and enjoy this training. Subscribe to the YouTube, comment if you liked this, and we will talk soon. This is Peter, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.